Hi, Bruce from Safari. And yesterday we showed the media battery over here uh, running and the detail on it. And today we're gonna show the charging mechanism here that we're using with the two Scotties. So a recap, 48 volt here coming down. These Scotties here are 12 to 48. Why do we have two? Because it's going in a catamaran, each engine on each side, two different starter batteries that are running on it. But this customer had a 12 volt multi-plus inverter charger. 3000 uh, VA and our goal is to try and keep that intact then the whole AC certification of the boat doesn't need to change at all so we're coming out of that on the 12 volt side and we're going into Scotty here on both the AC charging side and the alternator charging side so when he's on shore power this charger here is charging the 48 volt batteries through Scotty now the voltage is getting up a bit, we're at 54.1, 74%, we're putting in 13.73 watts uh, that's going in there now and I'm going to show you in a minute uh, the discharge that we're going to run as well. So let's just have a look at the detail here. Uh, there's the media battery and if I go down here into parameters you can see we've got the charge voltage limit here and we've got the charge current limit here, 150 amps. The batteries over there are suitable for 150 amps and that's the charge limit that we've got on it and that's the power uh, coming in. Now we're going to reverse it. Now we're going to turn off the input power and we're going to put the induction on and pull the power out. So now we're doing the reverse. We've got the inverter charger on. I've got it in overload mode. It's hot. We've got the two uh, pots on the induction there. The screen is saying we're doing about 2400 watts. And what I'll show you is this is the display for the helm station. So this is sitting on the can. And you'll see here the current's 46 amps. It's showing there, 45. And that's exactly what it's saying there. So in this setup with the media, that will be down in the saloon. This will be up on the helm station. And the customer can see the battery status in either location. The big advantage of this, though, is that he can see when Scotty's charging on this, uh, he can change the camping set point he can also change whether it's running hard, medium or soft up in the helm station. So I'm just going to go back to the overall battery voltage that you can see there. The 74% is the same as that. So we've got both devices on the can. And so these are charging, whether they're on the alternator or on the 240 volt charging, they're charging the media battery. The customer doesn't have to get any of his AC power recertified because we're not disturbing that circuit at all. I'd have to say, how good's that?